Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about network park, network marketing. And the topic is using Pinterest for your network marketing business. Now, I'm sure unless you are hiding under a rock, you know that using social media is very, very important or very, very critical to the success of your network marketing business. Okay. Now, there are many social media platforms outside there. And the popular ones are like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and so on. Okay. Now, that is one social media platform that a lot of people are not using. And it is Pinterest. Okay, it is Pinterest. Now, what is Pinterest? Pinterest actually is the posting of pictures and articles, all right? A lot of people go to Pinterest and look for articles, look for which are related to pictures. They have pictures there, okay? And Pinterest was founded in 2010. There are more than 300 million members on Pinterest itself. And you realize that 83% of them are female. Well, what does it mean here all right that means there are a lot of people who are shoppers okay who like to shop who like to buy so pinterest is a good platform if you are uh, uh trying to sell something all right it could be a product it could be a, a program or anything like that okay now why do you want to use pinterest let me give you a few reasons why you want to use pinterest number one do you realize that pinterest is a search engine it is not just a social media platform like Facebook, okay? Now, it is a search engine. People go to Pinterest because they are to search for something. Whereas people go on Facebook, you know, they are not searching for anything. They just uh, scroll through, uh, you know, the timeline and so on. But the thing is that Pinterest is a search engine, which is good news for you because people go to Pinterest when they search using keywords, they're looking for something that means there is buyer intention there okay people go to search for a solution okay example how to get leads how to lose weight and so on now if people go on pinterest to look for you know keywords like how to get leads how to lose weight the buyer intention is there that means they're looking to solve the problem they have a problem that they want to solve okay so basically this is one of the good thing about pinterest because it is a search engine all right, it is just a search engine. Unlike other platform outside there, you know, it is uh, not a search engine. People just go there to scroll, to uh, network and so on. But here, people go there to look for certain things to solve their problem. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, number two, penis are ready and waiting to buy your solution. Now, penis are people who post, all right? Penis are just uh, people who post on pinterest just like in facebook you know there are people who post uh, uh, articles and uh, uh what you call graphics and so on so basically penis are ready and waiting to buy your solution 87 percent of penis have purchased a product because of pinterest just imagine that 87 percent is very high percentage 87 percent of penis have purchased a product because of pinterest 93% use Pinterest to plan for future purchases as well. That means they have very high buyer intention. Okay, when people go to Pinterest, they have the intention to purchase something. Okay, and the other thing is that people searching on Pinterest, they are warm market. Why are they warm market? Because they are looking for something and probably they already know who you are because uh, you have a, a, a Pinterest account that they are interested in. Okay, so that's the second thing. Second thing, penis are ready and waiting to buy a solution. Number three, pins last forever. Now, what do you mean by that? If you remember, if you do a post on Facebook, all right, I'm talking about Facebook here. Yeah? There are other platforms which are similar. Okay, when you do a post on Facebook, your post will not last forever. After some time, you scroll down to the bottom and at the end of the day, it just disappeared. All right, it just disappeared. But pin or post on Pinterest, all right, they last forever. And that's a good thing. 
all right they last forever because it is a search engine let's say you have a a, a, a post on uh, you know how to lose weight all right it will be there because when somebody key in the keyword how to lose weight you know your pin may just appear uh, so that is one of the good thing about pinterest okay pin lasts forever let me repeat for you what are the three things so number one pinterest is a search engine number two pinners are ready and waiting to buy your solution and thirdly pins last forever because you know if, if you're talking about social media like facebook you know when you do a post over a period of time your post will definitely disappear all right but here pinterest is a search engine so when people make a search for the keyword that is relevant to your post your post may appear okay so how do you get involved with pinterest you got to sign up for a free account. It is free, just like any other social media platform outside there. You got to set, you can sign up for free. Go to Pinterest.com, okay, and sign up for a free account. And one of the things is that use a catchy username, a, a interesting catchy name, okay? For example, you know, make money hustle, or if you're talking about weight loss, you know, uh, weight loss warrior or something like that. Make it catchy, you know, so that uh, when people look at your Pinterest account, they will be interested okay so that's number one sign up for free account number two you need to have a blog that means you need to have a blog and a blog could be a wordpress blog that's the popular one have a blog where you post an image and article on a blog okay you're going to have a blog whereby you you have an article and an image that you're going to post on the blog and you're going to link it to your pinterest account so the pinterest account and your blog will be interconnected it will be connected okay so that is important you need to have a blog to to be used to be useful in using pinterest you need to have a blog all right because what you need to do is when you write the articles you're going to post the articles on the blog together with the image all right the picture is very important because pinterest is all about pictures and link it to your blog uh link it to your pinterest account the other thing you need to follow other in, in the pinterest account as well just like any other social media you need to engage all right when you engage there will be reciprocity so what happened is that when you follow other pinterest accounts they will reciprocate by following you as well so that is how you're going to grow your pinterest followers okay follow other pinterest account the other thing update your blog and pin regularly you got to pin on a regular basis not just like any other social media outside there if you want to be interested you want to be successful you get you got to put in the effort okay you got to put in some effort for that so you got to update your blog and pin regularly that means your blog that you have uh you know you, you got to update it regularly because people don't come back if you don't have updated content people come back for updated content okay so that is important update your blog and pin regularly now the other important thing is that you can sign up for groups you see pinterest is just like other social media platform like facebook okay they can have groups there there are many groups outside there are groups of various style interests okay uh groups in interested in let's say weight loss uh making money online and so on so what you need to do is you sign up to be a member of a group and you can post to the group okay they allow you to post to group so that's how you can uh you know promote as well so the most important thing you got to sign up for the group but sign up for group that are uh, uh, in your niche okay in in uh in your niche that means people who are also interested in what you are uh promoting okay so i think that's all about pinterest it's not difficult the thing is that a lot of people are not aware of this all right that's why people are not using pinterest so if you are somebody who interested to uh, you know expand your business then try looking at pinterest okay so let me uh summarize what uh, we talked about tonight using pinterest for your network marketing business what is pinterest pinterest is one of the social platform outside there okay and it is actually involved with posting of images and uh, articles there are more than 300 million members 83 percent are female that is very interesting all right now why pinterest because number one pinterest is a search engine Number two, pinners are ready and waiting to buy. Well, there are a lot of buyers there. And lastly, number three, your pin lasts forever because it is a search engine. 
how sign up for a free account use a catchy name you need to have a blog that you're going to link to your pinterest account and post to your blog regularly okay and uh you know you're going to update your blog and pin regularly and lastly sign up for groups that are related to your niche and when you sign up for the group you can post to the groups okay again you know uh, uh make sure that you don't uh, uh you know push people with all your uh, products and uh, programs and so on try to be useful okay try to be helpful and uh, that's how you can build your audience okay so that's all my sharing for today i hope that you learned something if you like what you hear and see please feel free to like to share and to comment i appreciate your time that you spent with me here today it is a uh, uh, already friday in malaysia i will see you for another session of my live video on monday so this is richard quack from malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye